so 20. Hmm. Oh, there you go, then. I always want to add it to the abilities, but chin and heart and stuff, you kind of need them. And in real life, you can't train heart and chin, so... To remember not to jump on him straight away now. I learned from my struggle fights. Every opponent he's faced. Will the streak continue tonight? But what his opponent wants to know is what's important. What happens when he comes out and he can't hit me? How's he gonna act then? There's more room for defensive error with the taller fighter, I assume. Here. Yes, there is, because now all of a sudden you're punching down. You're taught to punch on a straight plane where you don't leave anything open. You punch down, and somebody comes up with a punch. Next thing you know, you're picking yourself up Let's off the campus. Judah's got to deal with a cut cheek. Stay away from those. Good, solid right hand by Razor. Turned that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Zap saw that punch coming. Judah was able to block it away. Hook's on the inside. Keep working the body. The left hand coming into play by Razor. Come on. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Judah's combination. Why is my block just well here? Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Good job. It was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by Judah. Nice, sharp, fundamentally sound hook right there, and it served him well. Razor's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. All right, look right. right. It's my round, but I need to not poop it. Here we go. Round two is underway. Well, I wouldn't poop it if the controls did job, what I wanted them to do. The a classic one-two combo by Razor. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. I didn't move forward then. But it always makes me. So I think it's like a little flick. You can go like that. Yeah, you go like that and you're moving forward. Nice strike after catching one by Judah. A shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. A good block. Halfway through this round here. You scored well up top. One. Accurate shot. Straight right hand comes in. Nice. We're working. Judah's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Razor's right hand scores well. And now he's targeting upstairs. Effective work with that flush overhand right. Razor's so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landed. And another one. I like my defense two combos. Two two-punch right combos. Hand. Sort of my style, really, isn't it? Razor's doing exactly what you should to be it doesn't a seem to want to throw certain punches. punches oh. The combination punching now scoring well by Razor. And we come to the end of the round. 
I didn't move forward. I tried to come in and move back. So I did put a car in him. I haven't knocked it. I need to knock him down by round five. Was it? Scores up top with a left. Judas nailed by a hook. This change in levels thing seems to be working. Zab Judas been in tough spots before. Right now, this may be too tough. I think his corner should consider stopping this fight. A well placed left hand up top. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Good exchange. He fires back. Well, supposed to be Come fighting, on. but instead he's hugging. Halfway through this round, a headshot block. Crashes home with the uppercut. Close the chance. And now looking to hang on. Nice block by Razor. Solid hook upstairs. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Judah. Hmm. Lands the left after setting it up with a jab. I like the corner because it seems to keep him where I want him. Even though, like, I'm in the corner, I just push out to get my distance I want. But it keeps him where I want him, he doesn't keep going around. Oh, my damage is up. Fuck. Oh, I've got cut the first time. I think. I don't know. That's it's maybe a little cut, I don't know. The quick takeaway from the first three rounds is that one guy's got the higher punch output, the other one's lagging behind. As we start round number four, Teddy scorecard three rounds to none. Yeah, the one guy with the high Seemingly in As usual, I get caught by some bullshit. But what you just said, Joe, that is doesn't really what's the enemy of his right now is nothing was coming at him, he was winning too easily. And I didn't for a minute he let up. I just bang. No, my block just didn't work that one time. Just decided that it wasn't going to work. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter oh, he goes down, and he was on the outside cool. where he doesn't like to be. Where he shouldn't be, and he paid a price. Zab Judah's showing you what he is made of, getting up off the canvas after being knocked down. Tried to land that upstairs. How did that not hit? Mark. 90 seconds I don't understand. To go four. Nothing's hitting him right now. There we go. Razor's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Keep it tight inside. Oh my god. Solid right by Razor. And just grabbing on to his opponent. I'm probably messing up my uh, punch accuracy. Oh, my hook never, they never commit enough for my hook to reach. And round four oh man, he looks, he can't see shit. What's going on right here. His eye is completely swollen shut. What is the concern with the referee in the ringside position? Well, right now they're worried about the welfare. You know, that's just about tonight. Oh my god, it doesn't, I mean. What damage he will take now because he can't see correctly. It's their job. Get off me. I was going to shove you, but you clenched. He's trying to get back to where he was here in this round. He was knocked down in the last round. Now, Teddy, when you're the opponent 
and you knock the guy down. Those opening few moments of the next round, do you try to size up and kind of take into account where your opponent is? Do you look into his eyes and assess the situation? Well, I don't know if you get close enough to look right into his eyes as an opponent, but first go in the corner. You better not send your fighter out of his eyes don't look clear. That's your responsibility, looking out for the fighter. But as the opponent out there, you look at his legs. If his legs look a little wobbly, you get right on him. And yeah. now just wasting yeah. away some time with that clinch. <laughs> Zab Judah's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Oh my Commits god. Commits the overhand right, and it serves him well. That's what I want to see. He's literally blocking everything. No matter where I throw it to. Let's see some defense. All right, let's change angles then. Good combination by Razor. Razor's swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. I like this kind of defense, Teddy. I like this kind of guy that just says, go ahead. Think you can try to hit me up top. You can't. Great movement. A very good movement. Very good vision. He sees everything to do. Oh, job. man. He's very calm. He's very calm. He's very in control. And that's the end of round six. Zab Judah's corner has quite a task in front of them now. Their fighter's eye swollen shut. Right now, you have to come up with some strategy. Maybe he turns his stance. Oh my God. Where he leads Even down he's getting his punches eye. range you know, right, right wrong. Is back a little bit where he can't pick up things. Maybe now he needs to change his position in the ring where at least his good eye is in front. Headshot lands was a hook. Judas rocked by a huge hook to the head. Dazed Mad. after that punch. He is staggered and stumbling. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. Punch! Punch! That's what I'm trying to do, but he's not throwing anything. And then when he does, Zab uh, blocks it because he's got fucking superhuman reaction speeds apparently. Like, even though my timing is perfect, he just. Goes straight back from a jab to a thingy. Combo lands to the head. Mad. Unable to score with the hook. Good block there by Razor. Judah's side is an absolute mess. That cut is really a major issue. Now, if you're his opponent, it's got to be the primary target, right? Yeah, in that, a way, but you don't want to get commentary's got to be a bit of a mess because you you don't go out there all now, that random cutting is terrible. <laughs> nice, all right. Big shot comes in. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a That uppercut randomly hurt him. His health, I don't even know if his health was that low. Getting back up to his feet after being knocked down. Blocking that punch. Very good defense by Judah. Oh, uh, you see him with the left of the head there? And round six comes to an end. All right. Listen, he's a veteran guy. He knows the truth of the situation. That's a really bad cut. The kind of cut that can end the fight. Yeah, he has a gamble right now. You know, just got a little last call in the casino. They just said, you know, you got three more rolls of the dice. He's got to roll him. He's going to blow on him. He's got to do everything. He nice, takes a shot. Nice. And then commits to give him one right back. Carries that punch intended for the head. Double jab. Double jab. Zab Judah's got a way of just getting away from that punch. A he has. Head hunting with the right. And my punches go through his head, was his connect. Judah's now just trying to survive. I wish he would just do what I want him to do. He always moves the wrong way. Surviving isn't the easiest thing. Maybe that's game. Huge punch. You 
Yeah, when he's getting up with his face, you know he gets up. That's it, game. Cool. Judas unable to get up and continue on. Nice. I did win every round. I blew him 